Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I want to show you how to do some basic Zoom video settings. So once you open up a Zoom meeting, I have already, I got two participants and myself here. I'm going to come up here in the top left corner of this little green shield, click on it. It will actually open up the settings tab um, and then click up here on video for the video options. And the ones I want to show you are, um, first of all, mirror my video. This will flip your video left to right. I don't want to go into explaining why you'd want to do that. I don't think you need to, but if you do notice that words in your video are backwards, it's because you have mirror enabled. It should be disenabled if you want to be able to read words. Um, touch up my appearance. This is one I think that comes unchecked. My advice is check it. HD cameras, a foot and a half in your face can be brutal. So I check it. What it does is it basically just smooths out the color of your skin. So if there's any splotches or different colored stuff, It'll actually just smooth it out a little bit without making it look too blurry and weird. It actually makes a pretty big difference. Like I said, that camera's not far away. Um, and then the last one I'm going to show you is hide non-video participants. So what this means, I'm going to move this over out of here the way as well. What this means is I've got two participants. Neither of them have their video turned on. You might have a class of 30, and you might have a situation where 15 of them 15 kids don't have their video on and 15 do, and those 15 may be spread all over the place with black boxes all around them. Well, if you turn this on, hide video, non-video participants, all the black boxes will disappear and only people with their video on will show up in that grid. Now, people who are hidden can still use the participants, the chats, they can still raise their hand, they can do everything they wanna do. All it does is take away that little black box so you're not struggling to, um, you know, get some feedback from kids' faces because you all you see are black boxes and two kids' faces. Now, as soon as someone turns the video on, so for example, I'm going to enable Sarah's video, that person will then show up. And if I had 15 other kids with enabled videos, I would find that they would have 15 boxes of now just kids' faces. And as soon as somebody, I'll turn this video back off, as soon as their video goes back off, they would disappear. They wouldn't stay as a black box. So use it, don't use it, but that's what it does. I thought it might be useful. Well, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for staying.